Okay, you're just finished making your first character and you're all excited about painting it, but you realize you can't really paint on it? What's going on? Then you find out about something beautiful called UV unwrapping. It's a process where you literally slice up your character and lay it flat on the ground so it'd be ready for texturing, baking, and the rest. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fully unwrap the head and the body without any tools inside Blender. But before we go, as always, check out my Gumroad and Patreon page. There you can download all the 3D files, real-time process videos, and tutorials. There are also some pretty cool add-ons I've made, like the Haircard Studio where you can literally make haircuts in seconds, or iForge where you can have customized eyes for your character with only a few clicks check it out link in the description okay let's go first we need to have a character with decent topology if your character has a horrible topology go watch these two videos i've made about retopologizing a character we need to separate each part of the body so we have a separated unwrap for each section firstly we're gonna separate the hands from the torso in order to do that select the character and press tab to go to edit mode press 2 or click on this icon to switch to edge select mode it's really important. Now you gotta find the edge that is wrapped around the arm. To find that edge, just hold Alt and click on the edge. It should select every edge in that row. If it has found all the edges around the arm, that means you have selected the right edge. But if it stops somewhere, that means it is not in the same direction. You could still try to select it by hand, but I don't recommend it. Once you have selected it and made sure it's selected all around, move to the other side and select the exact same line on this side too. Here you need to hold Alt and Shift at the same time. Then click on the line so it gets added to our last edge. We have to select the wrist too so we can separate the arms from the hands. So go again, hold Alt and Shift and select the edges somewhere around here. Then go to the other side of the body and select the exact same edges over there. To make sure you selected the same edge on both sides, you can hold Alt and rotate the camera to the side. Then hold Z and go to wireframe mode. If you see only one line, that means you're on the right track. Once it was all selected, press U and mark seam. When it turned out red, it means those edges are now in the UV seam and will be considered in the unwrapping process. Now we need to separate the torso from the hands and other parts of the body. So first let's hold Alt and select the edge close to the neck. Then go down and select the parts connecting it to the hips by holding Shift Alt. I think these edges should work. Then press U and mark C. We can now separate the front from the back. Usually the best part for creating the seams are the edges that are least visible to the eyes. So the side of the body is the way to go. From bottom of the armpit, first select one edge. Then in order to select the rest all the way to the bottom, just hold shift control and click on the last edge close to our hips seam. If it selected some of the faces, that means you have clicked on the wrong edge. So ctrl Z and do it again until you see the full row selected. Again, go to the other side and select the same row of edges just the way we did on that side. To check if we selected the right edges, just switch to wireframe mode. Then press U and mark C. Now let's separate the legs. Since we already marked seam the hips, it's already separated from the torso. We just need to go down and separate it from the feet. Hold Alt and select the row of edges around this area. Same thing on the other side. Maybe an edge a bit higher than this. I think this one is good. Then press U and mark seam. Now in order to actually unwrap the legs, we need to cut it from the sides too. So let's first click on this edge right here, then go down and find the last edges of that row and click on it while holding Ctrl Shift to select all the edges in between. And of course, same thing on the other side. Before marking the seams, check the edges in the wireframe mode to see if you have selected the same edges on both sides. Once you are sure, press U and mark seam. We need to take care of the foot too, but it's a bit more complicated than the rest. First, let's select the edge from the back of the foot, where it's less visible. Once you've selected the edge from the top, click on the edge on the bottom while holding Ctrl Shift. Then just from this point, hold Shift and turn left on only one edge and select the edges to this point of the row. From here on out, just hold both buttons and just go around the toes one by one. And we're gonna stop right here. You don't need to go all the way. Press U and mark seam. Then do the exact same thing on the other foot. 
Moving on to the hands is basically the same process, but from a different angle. From the back, hold contour shift and go forward just like before. Then just select the edges around the fingers one by one. The reason I don't tell you to contour shift click on the last edges on the other side of the hand is that you can't actually tell which edge is the continuous of our edge row. And sometimes even if you do select the correct edge, Blender messes up and doesn't get the edge correctly. So that's why I'm saying go slow by selecting a few edges at a time instead of big steps. We're gonna stop right here, just after the thumb, then press U and mark seam. After that, just go to the other hand and do the same things here. It's literally the same process, just mirror to the other side. Unwrapping the head is pretty straightforward. Just go to front of the character's head and select the middle edge on the forehead, somewhere around here. Then go to the back of the character, select the first edge after the neck UV seam. It should now select every edge on that row. Then press U and mark seam. If you have the inside of the mouth, you have to separate that one too. Now move the camera inside of the model and find the close edge to the lip from the inside, somewhere around here. Hold Alt and click to select the whole row of edges. Okay, now let's test it out to see how far we have come. First go to UV editing tab. Maybe drag out a new window from the bottom and set it to shader editor. So we have the shaders here. If you haven't assigned the new material to the character, assign it. Then shift A and add an image texture. Click on new and set it to 4K or more. This image texture could be anything like a normal map or anything else. Now in the viewport, press A to select all. Then U and unwrap angle based. Then from the top, switch to an image so we can see our UV. As you can see, our UV is not looking great. Some parts are still connected and took a lot more space than we want. So we need to separate these parts from each other to organize it better. Back to solid mode, let's rotate around our character to see which part we have missed. Firstly, we haven't added any seams to the back of the arms. That's why it can't unwrap correctly. Select the first edge from here and hold Ctrl Shift and click on the first few lines. Then go down and select the last one. So it selects all the edges in between. If it didn't do it correctly, Ctrl Z and do it again until you get it right. The exact same thing goes for the other side. Once you select that both, press U and mark seam, like always. Now that we have the seam for the back, the arms can easily open up and unwrap. If you look at the UV, you see the torso and legs are stitched together. We want the back and front separated. So go to the top side view and select the edges between the shoulders and the neck. Then press U and mark seam. Now we have separated the front from the back. Moving on to the legs, the reason it's not separated is because we haven't added any seams to the inside of the legs. So zoom in and start from the bottom. Select the first edge on the leg. Hold Ctrl Shift and click till you reach the groin. This part might be a bit annoying, but go few edges by few edges so Blender doesn't get confused. And after that, just go down to the other leg, then mark seam at the end. Press A on the viewport again and unwrap just like before. Now you can see it's much better and way cleaner this way. It is time to organize it. It does work the way it is, but we need to identify which part of the body is more important. The most important part is definitely the face. So it has to be bigger than the rest of the body. Because the bigger is the UV, the more detail it can hold. Even if you pack it automatically, it still would look like this. A lot of empty spaces and waste in the UV tile. So let's adjust it manually. We have the tools on the left side that you can hide or unhide. Hover your mouse over to the UV and press L. This way you can easily select that part. And if you want to select multiple parts, you can just press L on each of them. But first, let's press A to select all and move them outside of the UV tile so we can adjust them one by one. As I said, face is usually the most important one because it needs the most detail. So let's press L and bring the face here. If it's vertical like this, press R and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. Scale it up a bit so it covers more area. Let's select the torso now by pressing L. Then bring him maybe to the side of the UE tile, rotating it so it fits better. Now for the legs, we can place it right here and maybe rotate this one to the side. 
we can use this free space between the legs for the hands to fit in. Just use your creativity and maybe play around with the rotation. We got some free spaces here as well. We can squeeze the legs inside. Then the eyeballs and other stuff can be thrown into these small spaces between the UV parts. Just make sure to fill in as much as you can in this free space. And there we have it guys. You can now bake normal maps or any other maps to it. But for better results, I recommend using UDIMs. This way you'll have more UV tiles to work with and obviously much better results. If you don't know what it is, tune in for the next video because I'm going to show you how you can use UDIMs to bake insane amount of details to this character right here. Subscribe so you won't miss it. And make sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download the full tutorials, process videos, really cool add-ons I've made. It's all there. Link is in the description. See you on the next one. Peace.